four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. 1968 was a watershed year in France, a time of student protests. How to Be a Good Wife is set in a region in the eastern part of France bordering Germany during the 1967-68 school year. The immaculate and morally upright Paulette van der Beek, played by Juliette Binoche, and her husband Robert, Francois Berlion, have been running van der Beek's School of Housekeeping and Good Manners for more than two decades. They've done so with the help of Paulette's eccentric stepsister, Gilbert, Yolande Moreau, and the school's communist-fearing ex-resistance nun, Marie Therese, Nomi Lavovsky. Their mission has been to train teenage girls to become perfect housewives. These were times when women were expected to be largely subservient. After an incident turns clockwork order into chaos, Paulette is shocked to learn that the school is on the verge of financial ruin. Forced to assume executive responsibilities, she's flustered even more by an encounter with her long-lost first love Andre, Edward Bear, the local bank manager. He becomes relentless in his desire to rekindle their romance. Meanwhile, a sweeping nationwide protest movement is transforming society around them, encouraging the school's students to challenge authority and question their own desires and beliefs. Before this is over, the entire group will undertake a journey of liberation, one that will transform their lives. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I wanted to like this movie a whole lot more than I did. It's patchy at best, frivolous at worst. The concept of making a movie out of the change in the long-held historic view of the role of women in France is indeed a good one. But straddling the divide between humour and substance was always going to be tricky once the filmmakers decided to turn the idea into a comedy. And I'm afraid I didn't care for enough of the notes that were struck. That had everything to do with the script and the dialogue attributed to the characters by writers Martin Provost, who also directs, and Severine Werber. Themes of rebellion and emerging sexuality were important to navigate, but I felt the film tried to flip-flop between levity and life lessons and that didn't work. Juliette Binoche exuded her usual charm, but even she couldn't rescue this vehicle, and the song and dance routine at the end of the film felt awkward and out of place. How to Be a Good Wife scores a 5 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.